Good morning. Got your attention? <laughs> How you doing? It's Caesar here, the Sober Traveler. Coming to you live this morning from Bohoko Beach. Of course, Bohoko, well, Bohoko is in Costa Rica, south of Haco Beach, and north of Cuepos. And if you're looking for an absolute secret paradise that I shouldn't be telling you about, this is it. Now you might have seen the thumbnail bad about Costa Rica. Well, I got your attention. The bad thing about Costa Rica is I have to go home. That's the bad about Costa Rica. Really, that's it. Well, do you want to know the good and the bad and the happy and sad? Five minutes, unedited video. I've been reading a lot of the forums on Facebook and YouTube and doing all my research about Costa Rica. So, the bad. Well, I don't think there is a bad for me personally. There's five or six temperate climates in one small little country. You can go from 35 Celsius to 20 Celsius. In Fahrenheit terms, well, you can look it up and you can do the calculation, but that's within 100 kilometers. You can change your temperature by that degree. So if the beach is too warm for you, well, just drive 20, 30 kilometers up any hill, every any mountain, and you'll cool off. Then I hear a lot of things that, you know, Costa Rica is unsafe in some areas. Well, if you go out in the middle of the day and you know your surroundings, I think you're a lot safer than downtown Toronto in the afternoon or any big metropolitan city. And if you bring 20 bucks with you or a credit card, uh, it's very hard get robbed that's all you have on you you give your credit card you call your credit card company and you cancel your credit card and if you have to make a donation of twenty dollars then make a donation of twenty dollars it's the worst that could happen to you now if you've got a rolex on and big diamond rings and so forth i think any tropical country you're just standing like a sore thumb local taticos don't wear big right huge jewelry and huge watches and huge rings and so forth so yeah just beware the other thing everybody says the Costa Rica is extremely expensive yes I just came back from a restaurant I had lunch it was $18 for a vegan curry dish and yes surprisingly yes there is times where you get a coffee you charge five dollars five American dollars for coffee yes doesn't make any sense well if you don't like it bring your own coffee Bring your own water. Cook your own food if you're looking to save money. That's my personal opinion. But all the Caribbean countries that I travel, and I've been through a lot of them, um, a lot of places in Europe, I've been to a lot of them, uh, there's not much to compare to for me personally. It's my own personal perspective is Costa Rica. If you're looking for biodiversity, if you're looking for climate, if you're looking for incredible vegetation, the jungle, the animals, and overall really good hospitality from the people, Costa Rica is my favorite thus far. I love Florida. Like, I love Florida. I just can't afford it. Housing is very expensive. If you're looking for a condo on the beach, in a nice beach area, looking at a million bucks. Here in Costa Rica, you're looking at $200,000. Big difference. Yes, if you go to touristy restaurants, you're gonna pay 50 bucks for a meal for two. Yes, if you go to a local restaurant, you'll pay $10 for two. Then also I hear, well, the roads are horrible. Well, the average speed in Costa Rica is 60 kilometers an hour. And let me tell you, I don't want to drive fast here. I want to see the place. I, I really want to enjoy the views at, at 100 or 110 kilometers an hour, which is impossible to drive here that speed. You don't see that much anyways. 
you're on holidays or thinking about retiring. Yeah. And these are all my perspectives and thanks for watching. I'm just going to vent a little bit to you here. And then I read on a lot of the forums, everybody have these salacious plans to go to 30 or 40 or 50 places and do all these excursions. The best thing I found personally is plan for one, give yourself ample amount of time and do a random left and random right. What that means is just explore and see what it's out there. I've, I was able to see 20 beaches within a 60 or 70 kilometer span and every beach here in Costa Rica is different. But I'm a unique traveler. I'm a sober traveler. I'm not looking for the big touristy spots. I'm not looking for the big loud parties. I'm looking for peace and tranquility. I've done that before. I've partied my little butt off. So I'm looking for places of peace and tranquility. And I found a piece of paradise. Have you seen my other vlogs? This is a special beach. This beach goes up and down one to two football fields. And yes, the sand isn't pristinely white, but let me tell you, it's like icing sugar. I've surfed, I've walked, I haven't stubbed my toe. I've done 25 to 30,000 steps a day on this beach. Now, yes, I've been traveling in uh, Central America here for the past four or five weeks now. I'm down weight, I'm down probably 18 to 20 pounds. Yes, I am calorie deficient on a daily basis. I do drink a lot of water. I do exercise a lot and I do walk a lot. I do yoga and so forth. I have never felt better. This is uh, every day. <laughs> it starts off in the morning with 27 Celsius and hits the high of 36 on this beach. And then I have gone to La Fortuna, which is an hour and a half away. And through my drives, it got as cold as 20 Celsius. I went through a rainforest, to gone through the mountains. And then I was able to go back to this hot tropical climate, which I really enjoy. I've got a lot of arthritis. I've got a lot of injuries from martial arts and kickboxing. I haven't been very good to my body. And I'm almost pushing 50. So this is perfect for me. And I think it will be perfect for you. There's not a human in sight. I've been walking for the past 30 minutes. I have not bumped into a human here. It is Friday. It's more of a busier time here in Costa Rica. There's a lot more locals that are coming to the beach. Friday and Saturday is their time of rest and relaxation. This is, I think, and I'm in between two huge tourist uh, uh, cities. This is the untouched gem. I want to share it with you. Did you like my rant and, uh, ranting about the good and the bad and happy about Costa Rica? I also think a lot to do is with, 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 is with perspective and perspective of life. And what are you looking for, a holiday, a retirement, or a getaway? I read a lot of things in the forums. People have high expectations. I think anywhere, if you've got high expectations on anything in life, there's going to be some resentment. But you don't expect a lot from nature. And man, when you don't expect anything from nature, does she give back in beauty and abundance Ooh, check that out oh one more thing I wanted to mention I saw two elderly ladies in their early 70s taking surfing lessons for 30 minutes on land they went out there with an instructor and I didn't want to videotape it but I will probably tomorrow just the joy of watching someone in their 70s learning how to surf and and learning how to do it correctly and safely and boy oh boy was it infectious to hear their laughter and their screaming and their happiness it was absolutely incredible to watch and if you want to learn how to surf this is the place and if you don't want to learn how to surf just take a little um 
a little board, like a little $10 styrofoam board and go out there. It's all sand throughout. There's no coral reefs here or anything that could give you trouble as in hurting you on this beach. And Hako is another spot for to learn how to surf. Cuepos, which is 30 minutes south of here, is not really known for its beachy uh, spot. But Bahelco, it is a little piece of paradise. And there's some luxury homes and some local homes spread along the beach. But this is the vibe. So, the only bad thing I could say about it, Costa Rica, as I mentioned earlier in my video, is that I have to go home. But I will be back. I am looking for a property here. I've looked at a condo yesterday. I did fall in love. I'm gonna do all my research and all my due diligence because I have fallen in love with this peace and tranquility of this place. Now, I don't need much myself. I live a very simple life, but everything I need is here and you're watching it, everything. I have water, I've got a little bit of juice left on my camera, so I wanted to share this vlog with you. And I know back home, there's a few of you, a few of my friends that are watching this. And yeah, I've checked out analytics on YouTube. 89% of people that watch my videos are not subscribers. Just click the subscribe button. Help me out. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. And I'm new at this. I'm new at this camera and talking on camera, but I really, I'm starting to enjoy it. I'm starting to learn a little bit more about it and sharing my, my, my strength, my experience, and my hope with you. I got a hat and I got glasses this time. I got a little smarter, let me tell you sweating up a storm yesterday and this this hat takes a little bit of the uh the heat off but anyways i'm going to end the video thank you for watching thanks for hearing me out if you have any questions private message me comment like subscribe you can find me on facebook you can find me on instagram find me anywhere and if you're looking for me <laughs> my phone's not working you can find me on the beach See you again. Bye-bye.